Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Family, I am so glad to be with you all again in the name of Jesus. If you're seeing me for your very first time, this is Prophetic Word with Adele. The Prophetic Word of today says, Be careful. Someone is sitting in bed and sharing a lot of tears. Looking at your photo, someone is sitting in bed and sharing a lot of tears. Looking at your picture looking at your photo i will tell you the reason why they are sharing tears watch this video to the end and hear what god has for you and hear and know why they are sharing tears for you thank you holy spirit i pray for each and every one of you that god will show you clarity god will protect you guide you going out and coming in in the mighty name of jesus god is going to do something in your life in jesus mighty name Amen. I pray that let this video should not pass you by, that God will keep you, increase you, and let his light to shine upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please listen carefully because this person is miss, missing you very much. This person is very sorry. He's sharing, they are sharing, shared, sharing tears because they are very sorry for what they did to you. Now, they have been thinking how to get you back. Is it going to be easy for them to get you back or is it going to be difficult to get you back? That is what is running through their mind right now. They want to get you back. That is why they are so sorry. That's why they are sharing tears. When they sit in bed, look at your photo, they begin to share a lot of tears because they want you back in their life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person share a lot of tears because they want you back in their life. They want you to come and take the position that you were, the position in their life. When you were with this person, you always tell this person this, that this is right and this is wrong. And this person always listened to you and their life was so perfect. But when they leave you, now their life is in mess. They don't even know what is right. They don't even know what is wrong. Right now, they are so confused. They can't even put themselves back together. They have been thinking a lot lately. How are they going to arrange themselves without you? That is why that person is sitting on the bed sharing these tears. Looking at your picture, how wonderful you are. And they are sharing tears. Do you want this person back or no? It is up to you. If you want this person back, open your heart in this video. Connect yourself to this powerful prophetic word. Let God use you and get this person back. If you want the person to come back into your life, this person can no longer do it without you that is why each time when the person go to bed he sit on his bed look at your picture and the person is sharing a lot of tears and sorry they are very sorry they want to be back into your life they are thinking how to get you back is it going to be easy for them to come back into your life or it is difficult to get you back the question now belongs to you if you want this person back or if you don't want this person back i am just a messenger giving you my message the only thing i want for you is for you to connect and if you want this person back god is going to do what no man can do in your life and take all the glory in the mighty name of jesus thank you holy spirit of god you are so sweet you are amazing you are going to do it in their life lord you are going to do it in their life. Do what no man can do and take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person cries because they want you back. He wants you back in his life. She wants you back in her life. God is going to do something for you as you connect in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person didn't honor their feelings, eventually go enter the temptation that make you to feel bad, make you to dis make you to disrespect you. This their feelings make them enter into a temptation that they, they, they want to find themselves out is so difficult. They did something that they were not supposed to do for you. They did something that make you very sad. Each time you think about what they did, you shed tears. Now this person is very sorry. Very, very sorry. 
He wants you back. He wants to be with you again. She wants you back. She wants to be with you again. Please just open your heart. This person say they are sorry. They are very, very sorry. It will not happen again. If you give them a second chance, they are going to treat you like a queen. She is going to respect you as a king. They just need a second chance in your life, in their life. They need a second chance in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to give this person a second chance? Are you ready to give this person a second chance? It is up to you. Let your heart be open in the name of Jesus. You said you have forgiven this person, but you have not forgot what happened. God says when you forgive, you forget. When you forgive, you forget so that your heart will be free. You will be able to move on, to carry on with the activities in front of you. This person is very sorry and this person wants to come back into your life. Are you ready to give this person a second chance? God says now they repent and seek the opportunity to be again with you, to be again with you. The opportunity to be with you again. Hallelujah. Now they have repented. They are seeking for the opportunity to be with you again. Please, can you give this person a second chance? I am pleading for them that can you give them a second chance in your life? They want to come and apologize. They want to get you back. They want to be with you again. Can you give them a second chance? It is up to you. I will be very happy if you give this person a second chance. God is going to open more doors for the both of you. Because God knows that you have already forgiven this person, but you need to forget what happened. And give this person a second chance in the name of Jesus. All what this person is seeking for is a second chance. They are seeking for a second chance. Please, can you kindly give them a second chance? If you do that, that is going to make this people, that is going to make them very, very happy. Excuse, happy. Now there is going to be a renewal. A, a renewal. They are now there is going to be a recover of love. It is going to be a record. You are going to recover your love back. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this wonderful prophetic word. I hope it blesses somebody. And I hope if you're angry with somebody, may you learn to forgive this person in the name of Jesus. If you're angry with somebody, learn to forgive this person in the mighty name of Jesus. God will do it for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, may the good Lord keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you. May he give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I love you all so much. God loves you more. Always remember to pray. If you're angry with somebody, you should ask this person to forgive you. You should, you should forgive this person in the name of Jesus and if you have any special prayer requests, please don't forget to go to my about. Write me there. We we'll talk there one on one. God will do something for you in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.